Hello, Madame Noir. I am celebrity hairstylist Anthony Cherry, and I am back for part two of our Weave Wisdom series. If you missed part one, I talked about a few things that you might need before installing a weave, such as straightening the hair before braiding and using products to make sure that the hair is not dry. In this episode, I am going to focus on installing the weave and of course, letting you in on a few of my secrets. Let's get started by emphasizing the importance of using a net. Here are three reasons why a net is definitely essential. Number one, a net is used to make a weave last longer as well as give a full coverage to place extensions anywhere you want to. Number two, a net protects your hair by relieving tension. Finally, it helps achieve our main goal, which is to make a weave flatter. So now we're gonna apply the Met Nesh cap, okay? Model, can I get your participation, please? One finger like a hook, please. Right there, okay, we're gonna take this, have them grab that, little pressure and it goes right over the head. Head back a little bit. Let's bring it from above the eye. Move this out of your way. And there we go. The next step is actually sewing the net down. Okay, we have a needle, which is very, very imperative to doing any weave. So I've already pre-threaded my strands and my needles. I actually like my needles very long, because the longer I can make my thread, the longer I can keep on sewing. So what I'm gonna do, I would like to start first right on the inside, not the outside, the inside, because I wanna cut along this way to leave that braid nice and free. I wanna actually start on the inside of the braid. Because sometimes if you go and you start sewing on the outside of the braid, sometimes you create a little bit too much clumpiness. So we don't wanna do that because that'll stop your weave from having to flow and being tucked directly up under. So we'll just basically just sew on the perimeter. And I never really create knots. Um, what I do, I just sew, I tuck, hold this under, this, this out, and create like a little line and it goes in. And I'll do that all the way around the perimeter, which you can move very fastly. It doesn't have to be totally perfect because you're gonna actually go back and reinforce it once you start to actually put an extension hair on. Okay, so now we have the top that is out. By this being mesh, it stretches. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna connect the hole that is at the top of the mesh. And by being mesh, it's gonna be very, very easy to grab and come back without causing extra stress. And we have created a full surface to where now you have the freedom to sew wherever you like. So I'm gonna show you how to cut it off. Any excess strands of thread, <clears throat> just go right around, just nip them and cut them. How I like to do this first, be very, very careful not to cut your client or to cut their hair. So you wanna lift this up, give one snap, see it'll break away, lift it up, that we can see exactly where the thread is. So you won't have to cut the thread or the hair. Lift up. And there you have it. The net is applied. And now we're gonna move on to the next step and that's actually applying the extensions. We are beginning the method to the madness. We're gonna go from one extreme to another. Okay, by using our extensions becoming unbelievable, might I say. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start to sew the weave and extensions onto the track, okay? What you would like to do is to actually get the track right up in here. Sometimes you can actually start your track up this far, but then sometimes if you start that far, you see how that projects and jumps out? We don't like that. So we're gonna take this, pull it down to where we see where it falls, nice and natural, where it can come down. So we're gonna start just about right here to sew it on. We're gonna take this, tuck this under, and we're gonna get like, to balance it out, it should be like that on both sides. So we're gonna take this, get the duck bill, nestle it up in there. I'm gonna cut this to about right there. Take this bad boy, sit that there. Grab your pre-threaded needles, which I actually like to use the nylon thread. The nylon thread is amazing. It's slim, it's fitting, and it doesn't get clogged up because you don't want to get clogged up during your sewing process because that will slow you down and cause a little bit of frustration. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to tuck this track right under the braid. Okay, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the bottom of the outside of the braid. Okay, I'm going to take this, tuck that under. I've created a, a little loop in the bottom of it. You just pull 
and you pull. And you pull until you know that that's nice and tight and you can see where your braid is being tucked under by the pulling of the thread. You should have that cinched where that sits there for a second, head over for a second. We'll go back again to reinforce it, stand away from it, pull, give yourself a little bit of room to work with. Okay, we're gonna do this again. Now that we have sewn in all of the hair, on the next and final episode, I will give you a few tips on how to style and properly maintain your weave. Well, that's it for today. Make sure you tune in to the next episode to learn how to maintain your hair and make all the hard work worthwhile. If you have any questions for me, contact me at Anthony Cherry on Twitter. And if you want to see more videos like this one, please log on to MadameNoir.com and follow them on Twitter at Madame Noir.